Hello everyone, it is day 25 of my 30 day SQL query challenge and I wanted to make this video the shortest video in this whole series and that is why I have taken a very basic SQL problem but this is a real SQL interview problem that was asked during a fresher data analyst role. Now, if you are a beginner in SQL, then try to solve this problem. But let's say you are someone at an intermediate or a more advanced level of SQL, then take it as a challenge and try to solve this problem within one minute. Now, as you can see, the problem statement is pretty simple. We are just asked to analyze the given input table and come up with the output as shown. So there are no explanation given on what we need to do. We need to analyze the input data and then come up with the output as shown here. Now, as always, you will be able to find the data set and the materials in my blog as well as in my Discord server. Try to download it and try to solve it using any database of your choice and then share your solution in my Discord server. Now, I'll be solving this using the PostgreSQL database and I've already created the table as you can see here. Okay. Now, before I solve this problem, first of all, let me understand what is it that I need to do. Right now, if I look at this input table, I can see that I have the store ID. It is mentioned three different stores, whereas in the output, I can see there is one record for each store. Right. And then when I come to the two different fields here, product one and product two, I can see that the first two products are of Apple. Then in the product two, the one of the product is of Apple. The other product is of Samsung. Right now, if I try to interpret this data into this data, I can understand within few seconds that basically what you see here is the total number of Apple products in each store corresponding to each column, right? So for store one, there are two Apple products in the product one field as mentioned here. And in product two, there is just one Apple product. When it comes to the store two, you can see that in the product one, there is one Apple product as shown here. And the other two products are basically Google and Sony products. Whereas in the product two, all the three are Apple products. Okay. When I come to the third store, I can see here the product one is basically a Samsung product and product two is a Maple product. Okay. So this is Maple. This is not Apple. Okay. So Maple, I don't know. It's some company. It is a different product. Okay. So that is why in the output, you can see it is zero. That means there are no Apple products in store three. Now I understand what the input data is and how I should basically come up with my output, right? Now let me think of a logic that I can use in SQL to basically build this. Now the simplest way of doing this is I know wherever I see the value as Apple, I need to basically count that record. So whenever you have this kind of a requirement, the best thing to do is you probably need to have a flag like wherever it is Apple, have a flag one, wherever it is not Apple, have a flag zero and then try to aggregate all the columns and try to sum them together. Now to add a flag one or zero based on the value, I can easily do that using the case statement. And that is exactly what I will be doing now. Okay. So here I'll say I need the store ID field because that is required in my output. And then I will just tell case when product one like, okay, I'm, I'm just going to say Apple. Okay. Then one else zero, right? And, and this is going to be my product one. Okay. Now the only challenge here is, if you look at the data, some of the apple is basically the first letter A is in uppercase and somewhere it is in lowercase. So we need to handle the different cases, right? Secondly, you can see that somewhere there are spaces, right? So we need to handle these spaces as well. And thirdly, if you try to just match for apple, even this will get matched, right? If I put percentage on both the sides, but I should not match if anything does not start with apple, right? So how I can do that is first of all, to handle the different cases, I'll just put a lower Okay, so I will treat this always to be in lowercase and I'm matching it with the lower. Okay, then in order to handle the spaces, I'll just put a L trim. Okay, that is the left trim. It will trim all the spaces from the left hand side. Okay, because I know that I have spaces only in the left hand side, right in this case. And then what I can do here is I know that I should only consider it to be an Apple product if it starts with Apple. Here it is starting with Maple. That is, it's starting with a M. I should not consider it, right? So I will tell that the first character should be Apple here, okay? And then after Apple, it can have any other characters. That is fine, right? Now I think that's all I need to do here. If I just put the same case for my second column, that is for my product two, I think it should also work. Now if I run it, now you can see that for product or the store one, I have two Apple products here, one here, and then for store three, I have one here and three here. And for store three, I have both as zero. Okay. That probably is what I wanted. Okay. Now in order to aggregate them all together, I can just tell group by the store ID and then order by store ID. 
okay and then here whatever i get in the case i can just put them within the sum aggregate function so all the data from the different rows will be summed together okay and i think that's all now if i run you can see that i'm getting the three stores one two three that is two one and one three okay two one and one three and the last one is zero Okay, so this is basically the solution to this problem. It's a basic problem, but it's a problem that you can expect if you're attending a fresher SQL interview. Okay, I hope you like this problem. If you did, make sure to like the video and share it with your friends. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow with another interesting problem. Bye.